So this is a demonstration of how we create good food manners with Stripes and Sydney. So right now we have Stripes coming to get food from me. Stripes, hello, we're doing a demonstration here and I am not part of the demonstration. So, can you go back to the person who's feeding you? Great. <laughs> okay, so this is all the stuff that we don't want. Nose right over the food pouch, pushy behaviors. So we're going to fix this. The first thing we're gonna do is get the hand out of the treat pouch. So the hand only moves after the click. If you're moving the hand to the treat pouch before the click, your animal is gonna cue off the movement of your hand instead of off the click. Okay, next thing we're gonna do Stripes is being really good. We're going to move the treat pouch to the side or to the back. This way it's not such a temptation. It's far away from Stripes' face and she's not hovering right over it. And the last thing we're going to do, <laughs> Stripes already knows this, you can see. The last thing we're going to do is feed Stripes out at arm's length. Always. Doesn't matter if you're training or if you're feeding her a random treat, always feed your animal out at arm's length away from you. So if your animal is close into you, Sydney, get her to move up with the food. So just feed her right up close to you. So if your animal's here right on top of you and you don't want them right on top of you, you just use the pl food placement to move them. So this time feed her um, back, yeah, so that she backs up to the food. And with enough repetition, your animal will learn to self-correct like you saw Stripes doing before, or just not move up at all and stay out at arm arm's length where they know they're gonna get their food. Okay, so adding movement to your food manners adds a level of difficulty for the animal and you will see a lot of the pushy behaviors return. So we're going to show you how to fix that while you're walking as well. So again, first thing that we're going to do is get the hand out of the treat pouch. The hand only goes to the treat pouch after the click. Next, we're gonna move the treat pouch to the side so that it's not such a temptation. And keep walking. And Stripes is being really good for this, but we're gonna show you anyhow. We're gonna feed from the outside hand instead of the inside hand. This will help to keep Stripes face out in front instead of curved around the person. So your right leg, Sydney, just take a step towards Stripe with it. Yep, there you go. It's kind of, you're creating like a wall next to her face so she's not turning and curving around you. There you go, perfect. Now the last thing you wanna do when you're walking is to make sure that you vary your amount of steps between reinforcements so that your animal never knows when they're going to be getting the food. They're very good at counting, so if you always treat, click and treat at five steps, she'll wait for those five steps and expect the food. So stripes switch sides here, so you can see that Sydney switched which hand she's feeding from. And there we go, very good. So that time there was only two steps, and this time, I don't know how many steps that was. <laughs> so you wanna 
switch it up so you're not always doing more difficult and you're not always doing the same amount of steps. Now Stripes is showing a nice uh, switching from side to side, which I hadn't planned on showing, but since she's doing it, if your animal keeps switching from side to side, it's just because they're not getting reinforced enough. They don't know to stay on your one side, so you want to up your rate of reinforcement. High Stripes. <laughs> and click and reinforce more often to keep them on the side that you want.